In this video, you'll learn how to create a newsletter just like The Hustle, including how to format your newsletter just like them, create their cool trending section, and more. All in Beehive without the need to code. After you log into Beehive, go to Write and Post. Here's where you'll see all your previous posts and drafts and where you can create a new one. From here, click Start Writing in the top right corner. Now that you're in the Beehive editor, we can start creating and designing the newsletter and emails. First off, we want to start from a blank slate. By default, the title and subtitle of your post shows up in your email, but we actually want to turn this off. To do this, go to the post settings on the right hand side and toggle off show title and subtitle in email. Next, go over to the email tab and where it says display social share icons, select none. Once you've done those two things, you now have a blank email to work with. The first thing you see in every email from The Hustle is their logo banner. In this banner, they have two logos stacked side by side with a vertical bar dividing the two. You can have a logo mark version of your logo on the left hand side and a word mark version of your logo on the right hand side. A logo mark being just a picture or an icon and a word mark being a text version of your logo. When you have it ready, enter the forward slash key and select image from the editor menu. From here, click on upload an image and upload your logo. Now click on the logo and click on the settings icon to change the image alignment and width. Here I'll change the width to anywhere from 30 to 50 and change the image alignment so that the logo is centered in the middle. Before we start with the rest of the email, we actually want to go over to settings and design lab to change things like the default font, spacing, and colors of our newsletter so it's more similar to the hustles before we start adding anything else. One thing you'll notice about the hustles emails are they look very condensed and don't actually have a ton of spacing between components like headings, body text, and images. To match this in Design Lab, you want to do the following. Go to Background and change Inner Margin to 25 pixels. Go over to Body Text and change Spacing between Paragraphs to 10 pixels. Go to Headings and change Space between Elements to 6 pixels. And make sure to do this for all the different types of headings, as there are 6 different preset headings you can make. Now lastly, go over to Images and change Space around Image to 4 pixels. Next, it's time to create the intro section of the email. The hustle always starts with an intro paragraph about a random fact or event that just happened. Here, I'll do just that with a fun fact about bees. Underneath this paragraph, you'll also see a breakdown of what's in today's email, where they give a brief breakdown of topics they'll cover in the email. Here, we can do the same. Just make sure to highlight the text you want to bold and click on the bold icon in the editor menu. Underneath this, they have a call to action to listen to their podcast with an image banner that links to the specific episode they're talking about. Here, I'll add my own call to action and enter the forward slash key once again. Here, I'll select image and now I'll upload my very own image banner. Now to make this image actually link somewhere, just click on it and hit the link icon and enter the place you want to link to. Once you enter this link, you can also hit the settings icon to toggle on open a new tab if you want. Let's create the content break that divides the different sections in the email. Go back to Design Lab and look for content breaks. Here, set the color to a very light gray color, like the hex code on the screen right now. Set the style to solid, the thickness to one pixel, and the width to 100 pixel so that it spans across the email. You can also change the space around the break so it's small like the rest of the elements in the email. Something like 10 pixels should work. Now that we've done that, we have something very similar to the hustles. Just make sure that the content break color is not the same as your post background color or else it won't be visible. To do this, go over to background and change the outside and post background to white. Now to actually create a content break, go back to the editor and hit forward slash and then type in horizontal rule. Next, it's time to create an example section. Most of these sections look identical in terms of formats. So if you want to create more, you can just duplicate them. You'll notice that there's five main components in every single section. There's a color subheading that describes what category a piece of news fits into. There's a relevant image. There's a larger heading describing the content itself. There's a smaller heading that complements the body text. And then there's the body text. We want to change some settings in Design Lab so that these different components appear as closely to the hustles as possible. First off, the subheading you see at the top of every section is actually the same size as the body font, a font size of around 16 pixels. So in Design Lab, go over to Body Text and change this accordingly. You may also want to change the font family of everything in your email to Helvetica. Now you can go back to the editor and add your subheading. 
just make sure you type it out in all capital letters in that it's the primary color of your publication by highlighting it, clicking on the settings icon, and then clicking from the preset text colors. Alternatively, you can also click on the color picker tool and set a custom color. Also, don't forget to bold this heading. Next up, we have the heading you see underneath each image. This heading is slightly bigger at around 22 pixels. To change it, go to Design Lab, Header Text, and choose any of the default headings to assign this to. For example, if you choose to change Heading 2 to 22 pixels and the Helvetica font, when you're in the Beehive Editor, you can assign any piece of text to these default settings by highlighting it and selecting the H2 or Heading 2 icon from the Editor menu. Alternatively, you can type in forward slash and select Heading 2 to start with these settings. So make sure to remember which heading you assign these values to. Next, we have a smaller heading that accompanies the body text, which is slightly bigger at 17 pixels. So here I'll go back to Design Lab and change heading 3 to 17 pixels and Helvetica. Now the only thing left is to change how hyperlinks appear. In the Hustle's emails, you can see that they appear as black with an underline. To match this, go to Design Lab, go to Body Text, then where it says Inline Hyperlinks, select the color black and the underline option. Now to hyperlink text, simply highlight any piece of text and paste in your link. And finally, close off the section by hitting the forward slash key and selecting horizontal rule. Next up, you'll learn how to create your own version of the hustles trending section. To create this, type a forward slash followed by section. Now you can drop in your text here and then customize the background, roundness, and border of the section. To do this, hover over the left-hand side of your section and click on the icon next to the plus button. Then click on visual settings. In here, you can select a background color. I'll be using the color that's displayed on screen right now. Now where it says spacings, change inner and outer spacing to something like 10 pixels. Go back and now you can play with borders. Here I'll add a 15 pixel radius. The higher the radius, the more round your section will appear. Here you can also select a thickness or basically a border for your section. Here I'll be adding a slight border of around 0.5 pixels. If you want to add an image inside the section, you can simply click inside the section and then choose columns from the menu. Now just paste in your text to one of the columns and insert an image to the other column. When you're done, you can change how the columns are divided using one of the preset options. Lastly, you'll notice that the hustle has a cool little referral widget at the bottom of every email. We actually made a full in-depth tutorial on how to do the same in a video on our YouTube channel, which you can check with the link below. Now when you're done, you can go to the bottom right and click on Save Template and give it a name. Now whenever you go to start writing, you can select from the drop-down menu and click on this template. 